Well, it's true to say, I think, that over the past few months, the British band to have had the greatest impact in America are the average white band. Both the second album and the single from it, Pick Up the Pieces, reached number one over there. And tonight, it's a pleasure to welcome to the studio Alan Gorry yeah. and Hamish Stewart. How are you? Are you all right? All right. Yeah. Very good, fine. Yeah. Nice to be good back. Good to be home. Hamish, first of all, let's touch on America, because, I mean, we've been reading a lot in the press just lately about you moving over to America. But, I mean, really, it's true to say that you've been living there basically for the past more two years less, anyway, more or less. Since 72, really. Yeah. We've just been coming home for cups of tea and fish and chips. And <laughs> really. See you more. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I mean, do you feel America really is kind of the right place for you to be anyway? It's where the music comes from that we've, that we, you know, we play. Mm -hmm. So it's, we're constantly exposed to it now. So it's, please show me. Yeah, because you recorded the second album in New York. Yeah, Island, we did, you? well, we, we started it off in, Los Angeles. We did some in Miami and uh, finished up working most of it, doing all the vocals and things in New York. Mm. And we're using the same team, the same studio, same producer for this album that we're doing at the moment, mm. which is about, it's our favorite place these days. Yeah. Presumably the sound suits you much better over there too. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no time taken over getting the sound, uh, especially with Steve, our new member, he's he's fitted in, it's just slotted in like that to the whole thing, getting the sound. They, he's a dream to work with as far as the engineers are concerned. Mm. And I think it's true to say we have got the best engineer that I've ever worked with. He's he probably, oh, he is. Who's that? It's Gene Paul, who's Les Paul's son. Oh, right, yeah. He's an amazing guy. He's, he's really funny. <laughs> Anytime anything serious happens, he just starts cackling. The whole thing goes smoothly. Yeah. How did you meet up with Steve, Hamish? Uh, I met him about two years ago, because he was a friend of Robbie's, and he came round one day when I was staying at Robbie's place. And I met him a few times since then, and it's just, it has worked out. Mm -hmm. I knew he was the right, the right one as soon as I started thinking rationally. Yeah. And, uh, well, I can't say anything really, it's just, there's nobody, there isn't another person that could have done the gig. No, not really. Mm -hmm. Really. And the, the good thing is the spirit's all back in the band again. Yeah. I mean, do you feel you've recovered yeah. now from losing Robbie? Yeah, I think so. I mm -hmm. think we've finally got over it. Yeah. And the main thing that's really done that is the, the recent gigs we've been doing in the States. While we were rehearsing and writing, it was, at times it was a bit kind of everybody sussing each other out to see how it would work. Unfortunately, Steve is very inventive and, like Robbie, very critical of anything that's not quite right. Then when we finally got out on the road to do some gigs, we, did, we just finished doing eight gigs on the East Coast and uh, they, it's been getting better and better every night. Mm. So it's all, all the old fires back. Yeah. How's the new album coming on? <laughs> How much is done now? <laughs> <laughs> very strong. Very, very, very strong. strong. Yeah. Yeah. It's dead right as far as we're all concerned. Yeah. How much is done, Hamish? Everything but uh, the Dundee horns have got to go back and put their tutors on it. <laughs> That's about all, really, and a couple of vocals. Yeah, yeah just redo a couple of vocals and <laughs> tart up things with tambourines and sleigh bells and whatever. Just the finishing touches. Yeah. We'll do that over the next few weeks. Is it going to differ very much from the last one, Alan? Well, it's it's going to be square. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit funkier than the last one, I think. It's the material's tougher. It's it's stronger and more meaty than the last album. Um, there's still some songs on it. There's still some straightforward tunes, but the sound has improved, and I think the writing and the material has improved. Uh, the rest the rest up to your own judgment, really. <laughs> okay. Do you know when it's coming out yet? Is it scheduled? May, uh, May the 15th, I think. Mm. That's what we're They're going for over for, there, yeah. anyway. May the 15th. Yeah. Is it like the last one, Alan, basically recorded in New York? Or have you used other studios as well? No, we've just used this, we've just used the New York Atlantic studio. But we, we may do some finishing touches on the West Coast, because mm. we're going to be touring. We're going to end up there. And there's probably going to be one or two little things that need doing at the end of the, at the end of the tour, that time, you know, won't allow us to be in New York. Mm. So we'll, we'll probably finish it there. But that'll be in like two days. How long is the tour going to last this time? Till April, April the 20th, I think. Mm -hmm. 
We go back on Wednesday to start. We start in Chicago on the second leg mm. and go right round. Yeah. I mean, just finally, I, I mean, I've got to ask you if there's a chance that we're going to see you at least somewhere near Britain to play for ah. this in. I mean, is that a possibility? We've, uh, we're chucking some plans around at the moment to try and do a concert in the Isle of Man in summer. Which would be good because it's it's close to Glasgow, Liverpool, Manchester, yeah. a lot of places that we can ferry people from. Mm. So if that comes together, it would be it'd be good for you know we'll be happy about that. Yeah, I hope well, we can. Yeah, we we'll look forward to that. Alan, Hamish, thanks a lot. Thanks. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
play one thing. When we say pick up the pieces, it means everybody's gonna play a part to make a band. That's your pieces. So all we're asking of you is to join us on this piece. Give us 3,000 people doing one off beat. You can help me along. Thank you.